You know how you're just laying here and your mind just goes off on some wild <laughs> made up story. So I'm sitting here and ah, it's kind of warm. And I noticed the sun is beating in over here and we have a brick house. We actually call this front area the brick oven because it gets so hot compared to the back. So I was like, damn, you know, this house is like 60 years old. And I'm thinking like, is this beating on it every day? You know, it doesn't seem, it seems like after a while it would fall apart. I was like, that'd be crazy if the bricks fell off the side of the house. This is all just occurring to me. The next thought comes, the next thought comes, the next thought comes. And it's interesting. It's holding my attention. So then I'm like, damn, you know, what if we're pulling out of the garage and a brick, brick's falling, <laughs> hitting the roof. And we, we have a glass roof. So it like smashes right through. And then I was like, holy crap. What if like a whole bunch of bricks were coming together? And they were going to smash and hit my daughter. These are the thoughts that are occurring to me. Don't act like you don't have these same type of crazy ass thoughts. Not anything I'm deciding to think. These are the thoughts that are occurring to me. So then I was like, oh, would I step on the accelerator and zoom out? You know, because I wouldn't know what's happening. <laughs> you know, what? What was that noise? And then what if my wife, I was just staying there looking to see what it was. And, and my wife's like, go. And at that time, the thought occurred to me, no, I'm not going to just rush out of here. You know, you're having this happen in split seconds, right? For whatever reason, it made sense to me to stay and like look and see what was happening. In that time, the bricks could have came and hit my daughter. So then I was thinking like, it would be so odd when you think of it for her to be mad at me. I did what seemed best in the moment, including her saying drive. For whatever reason, it occurred to me that I, I don't want to drive because I don't know what I'm driving into or don't tell me what to do. Some people might have that thought. I know I've had that thought in the past. So what I did is a result of what looked best to me. If she knows that, yes, she's going to be sad that her daughter got hurt. And she's going to maybe wish like, oh my God, it, it, what if Jason had just pulled up? Would this have been avoided? But it wouldn't make sense to be mad at me because she knows that this is what looked best to me in the moment. I mean, she could ask me like, how come you didn't listen to me? And we could, we could have that conversation. Um, you know, no matter what my reasons were for not driving forward, you know, of course this never happened. It's all imagination, but it doesn't matter because it could have happened. It's just to illustrate the point. We both just know that we're always doing the best according to what occurs to us, according to what looks best. So we can still explore the reasons why, why didn't you pull up, you know, or like what made you say drive? How did you know? That type of thing. You can still have that and you learn from those experiences. So when bricks fall on your next house, no. Um, so it's just that process of learning, doing, learning, doing in the Stoics, uh, Stoic philosophy, they talk about virtue and Seneca says, virtue is nothing more than right reason. Right reason is just correct reason, right? The reasons you had worked to get you what you wanted. So if you had reasons that it, it looked best for whatever reasons to rob this grocery store and now you're in jail for 10 years, you had the wrong, it turns out you didn't have the right reasons but you were ignorant. That's what looked best to you. So all you have to do is realize that because that saves you a lot of stress and pressure because 
I'm just doing what seems best in each moment. How could I not? How could I see two paths, see path A as the better option and still take path B? If I took path B, I would have a reason to take path B over path A. If there's $100 on the table and there's $10 and you could have either and there was no other negative surrounding that, if you valued the 100 more, you'll take the 100. If you valued the 10 more because it just looks cool, ooh, a $10 bill, you know, whatever reasons, you're going to take the $10 bill. So you know this is how it works. Stress and pressure don't really make sense. Getting angry at somebody doesn't make sense. And then you see it's just, for everybody, a process of learning what is best, learning what makes the most sense learning from our mistakes and saying like oh you know what i probably shouldn't swing you know baseball bats around the kids whatever i don't know an example but you know what i mean you see something on tv and it's like drunk driving kills 10 people (laughs) so you're driving and you're like we're going to this bar and you're thinking like imagine if i killed somebody like i couldn't live with myself there's no way that i'm driving right that influences you and changes your reason. Changed reason, improved reason, the software update. Now the software has better reasons which better guide your life. And there's no unhappiness in any of this because you see that it couldn't have been any other way than it is.